come back with another interesting topic. Hope you all will like it. So, without any further delay, let's get started. In my previous video of my SQL series, I have discussed about auto increment constraint in my SQL. You can check the video from the above i button. Today, I am going to discuss about default constraint in my SQL. So, without any further delay, let's get started. My SQL default constraint returns the default value for a table column. The default value of a column is a value used in the case when there is no value specified by the user. To use this function, there should be a default value assigned to the column, otherwise it will generate an error. Syntax Default within bracket column name, where column name is name of column whose default value is written. How to add default constraint? To add a default constraint to a MySQL table, there are two methods available. Using create table statement, using alter table statement. Using default constraint on create table. Syntax create table, table name within bracket, column 1, data type, default, default value, column 2, data type, default, default value, and so on. Add default constraint with alter table statement. Syntax alter table, table name, alter, column name, set, default, default value. Let's apply this with some examples. Today, I am using company 321 database. Create table customers within bracket columns will be cust id int auto increment primary key first name worker 20 last name worker 20 age int integer city worker 50 default which will be Kolkata. Select and run the query to create table customers. DSC customers to see the description of the table. To insert data to the table, insert into customers within bracket column names except cust id as it's in auto increment values within bracket corresponding values of the column. Remember the row where you need to place default value. So in that case, write default in the column. Select asterisk from customers to view the table created. Note that the default constraint can also be used to insert system values by using functions like current timestamp. Default value must be a constant. It cannot be a function or an expression. That is, we cannot use now or current date. Exception is that you can specify current timestamp as the default for a timestamp column. Create table with current timestamp. Create table orders within bracket order id int not null primary key order number int not null Order date, timestamp, default, current, timestamp. T 
TSA orders to view the table created. Now insertion of data to the table. So insert into orders within bracket columns except order date as it's a variable. Then values within bracket corresponding values of the column. Select asterisk from orders. Here you will see order date will show time stamp of the time when the data was inserted. Default constraint in alter table. Alter table customers alter age set default 25. To analyze the result, insert another row data with age column value as default. You can see the default age is set in the corresponding column. Similarly, to drop default constraint, alter table, customers, alter city, drop default. That's all for today. Hope you all will get some help from this video. If it's so, then don't forget to subscribe my channel Code with Neha and press the bell icon for regular updates. See you in the next video. Till then, stay safe, stay happy.